Hey, good morning, everyone. Happy Sunday. Rob here from Southwest Florida Television. Down on the south end of the beach, down in Area 1 at Delnor Wiggins Pass State Park up in North Naples, Florida. Got another big storm down to the southwest of us out here. We're watching some lightning out there. Supposed to have some rain again this afternoon. Pretty standard weather for Southwest Florida. Just walking south right now. Taking a look down here at the south end of the park, see if there's any new sea turtle nest along here. Lots of dead fish on the beach again. Still under red tide warning. Red tide warning is still in effect. Seems to be more dead fish here than there were yesterday morning. Very sad. But a pretty impressive thunderstorm down there to the south. You can see the tops of the clouds are just picking up the morning sun. If you listen closely, you might be able to hear the thunder in the background. Those clouds are pretty far away. Pretty, that's a pretty impressive looking storm there. Well, it's kind of hard to see right now. But the water looks awful down here this morning dark brown color. The water down here at the south end of the park has the same color as the water up in Wiggins Pass when the tide is going out. It's that dark, deep brown color. Oh, sad. Oh, he's alive. Okay, I thought that was a dead crab. He might be on his way to expiring. Woohoo, he's putting up a little fight. <laughs> oh, look at that, he went for the camera. Woo. I don't know what happened to the camera just there. The, the crab just jumped right up at the camera. Wow. Feisty little thing. Up and off he goes. Back out into the water. Huh. That was, oh, look at that. Here's another one right here. Yeah. Interesting. Two crabs side by side. Maybe I interrupted something this morning. Hmm. Here's another one down here. This isn't good. I know this is the red tide washing them up here. This is a blue crab here. A little blue crab. Still alive. That's a good sign. Well, that's not a good sign though. They must be, this definitely has something to do with the red tide, seeing the crabs on the beach like that. Normally I don't ever see them. Boom, 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 three in a row, just like that. 
I'm down at the south end of Del Norwegans Pass State Park. Down where the condos start at Vanderbilt Beach here. Another big thunderstorm, just like yesterday morning out there, down to the southwest of us. Also out to the west, you can see it. Out there in the Gulf. We are still under the red tide warning. Still feeling the effects of red tide. I've seen quite a few dead fish on the beach, quite a few of them. That's all dead fish unfortunately. It seems that there's more this morning than there were yesterday morning. Well, yesterday I was feeling pretty optimistic because it was so calm. I was hoping that this red tide was on its way out of here. I was hoping we'd get an offshore breeze and it'd blow it back out into the Gulf away from us. But not yet. And this morning the water looks terrible. It looked way better yesterday morning. There's a blue crab up on the beach. Just hiding out from me right on the up oh, there he goes. A little blue crab. I definitely don't want to be eating any shellfish right now out of the Gulf from this area, that's for sure. The shellfish are what really get contaminated by the red tide. You know, there's looks like a drum over here. Where's that? Is that a grouper or a drum? You fishermen. Ugh, sad. We yeah, have quite a few dead fish out here on the beach. There's those other two little crabs. This is, that's the feisty one there. He almost, he tried to jump up and bite me. Look at him. Look at him picking his claws up. Wow. Feisty little rascal. <laughs> there's another one up. <coughs> P.U. Oh, there's a bunch of them along here. There's another one there. There's a bigger one over here. There's a good size one right there. What kind of crabs are these? I don't know. You can tell me what kind of crabs these are. He's bobbing around in the waves here. I've seen quite a few of them already out here. Huh. Very interesting. There's the other one right behind me here. And there's another, a little a smaller one. It's like a large one, a medium, and a small one right there. Huh. A little family of crabs out here this morning. Hopefully they'll, they'll, hopefully they'll survive the red tide. Poor little things. I'm 
supposed to have some a good chance for rain showers later today. Last I checked, starting around 11. I'm gonna give you a look around here. Sun's just starting to come up here and light up the clouds out in the Gulf. The sun's to my back right now. But a very big thunderstorm down here to the south, southwest, and west. Look at the size of that thing. Man, that is a big storm. Not much of a breeze out here. Very, very flat out in the Gulf this morning. As I look up to the north offshore, to my disbelief, I see that stinking barge out there again. Looks like it's set up to do some dredging. I can't believe it. There's another one of those crabs. Come back up here. Who knows what kind of crab that is? Where'd you go? Yep. Went down over the ledge out there. See how murky that water is this morning? Ugh. I haven't seen any sea turtle crawls yet. Any new ones. Seeing more dead fish on the beach than I saw yesterday morning, that's for sure. All sizes. Look at all these little bait fish down here. They're just piled up on the beach, these little ones. What a mess. What a sad, sad sight to see, huh? Our beautiful beaches. Um, things are gonna turn around. Where's a big blue, here's a blue crab. I wonder if it's dead or alive. I think that guy might be expired. No, he's a little bit of movement. I think he's on his way. Poor blue crab. We have seen a lot of crabs on the beach this morning. Very, very sad. That red tide definitely takes its toll on the shellfish. Something else that red tide's been taking its toll on lately. These horseshoe crabs. Here's another, here's a dead horseshoe crab up on the beach. Very sad. Surrounded by dead fish. Boy, I wish this red tide would just get the heck out of here. It's horrible when it happens during our sea turtle nesting season too. That makes it even worse when it starts taking its toll on our nesting sea turtles. It's horrible. There have been hundreds, hundreds of sea turtles that have died, that have been killed because of the red tide. Fortunately, some of them are still coming to shore. The other day we had one come up. We got 58 nests on the beach here. There's some old tracks from the other day right there. That's the sea turtle crawl tracks. Those were the tracks coming out of the water and that was her return tracks over there. 
and the nest is all the way up there. That's nest number 57. Hopefully she made it back out into the deeper waters. Okay, that nesting female. But yeah, I think we're gonna see a lot of dead crabs on the beach because they are just coming out of the water left and right this morning. There's another one. Barely alive. I don't know what kind of crab that is. Somebody could tell me, that'd be cool. If somebody knows, share it in the comments. You can see it's still alive. We're not doing too well. Yeah, I feel sorry for the folks up in Fort Myers, Cape Coral area. Oh, they've got it worse than us. They're not just dealing with red tide, they're dealing with that green algae, that toxic algae. That is horrible. All we're feeling the effects of right now is red tide. Still not pleasant. So yesterday when I left, we had 58 confirmed sea turtle corals on the beach. That's a pretty good number, pretty impressive number, or 59, I'm sorry, 59? Was it 59? Yeah, 59. Or 58, now I, now I forget, I think it's 58. I don't think we're gonna see any dolphins out here with this crappy water out here this morning. It's kinda neat, you see these little rogue waves. They hit the sandbar and then they just kinda move along the beach, little tiny waves. Oh, I'm so looking forward to our beach getting back to normal. But right now it's far from normal. You can see that's a dead fish floating out there. The tide's on its way out right now. It's not very inviting here. The smell isn't very bad. I'm, my eyes aren't burning or anything, but the water looks disgusting. There's a lot more dead fish out here than there were yesterday morning. A lot of catfish, big catfish. A lot of seaweed, a lot of seagrass on the beach. Big piles of seagrass up in area two, but on area two and three beach. So that's starting to decompose. So that adds to the fragrance.
water is still dirty. A lot of times the water is just kind of murky in areas. So far it's the entire Area 1 beach, the water looks terrible. The beach looks terrible. I know you're going to find this hard to believe. But, but I have... <coughs> whew, there's a whiff of red tide. But I have seen it way worse than this. A couple of years ago, our beach was, I mean, literally, literally lined with dead fish from red tide. I mean, they were head to head all the way this deep on the beach. The whole entire beach covered with dead fish. That was the worst I had ever seen it. We had another bout with red tide earlier this year. It lasted about a month. But that wasn't as bad as the one I saw back, I think it was 2017, 2016 maybe. I posted some video of it, it was terrible. What had happened is there was red tide up north and we got a big storm and it just pushed it right down onto our beach here. Barefoot Beach and Del Nor Wiggins, all the way down Vanderbilt Beach. It was horrible. It was probably 20 times worse than what it is right now. So sad. So sad seeing all these poor dead fish. I haven't seen any more crabs. All the crabs were down towards the south end. The weather's pretty nice, that's for sure. Right now, the weather's gorgeous. The water's terrible. I would not be wanting to come to the beach now. Sad. How many times do you hear me say that? <laughs> not too often. It's rare you'll hear me say I don't want to go to the beach. I'm up in area two and you can see the seaweed. It's getting thicker, the seagrass up on the beach. I don't know what caused it to all come up in this area here, but it's just, the beach is covered with seagrass in area two and three. It's really thick up here in front of me. It's 
Still no signs of any new sea turtle crawls. As much as I guess we want to see more nests on the beach, it's probably best if those females don't come in and swim into this red tide. We've lost enough sea turtles already from that. But look at all the seagrass. It's incredible. And then offshore, there's that darn barge back again. I thought it was gone. And that's the dredging barge out in the Gulf there. With that barge on the right, that's where the sand gets pumped out of. That's where it gets dispersed from. That barge on the left sucks it up and there's a big pipe that connects the two. And I thought they were done with that business. It's not just seagrass here. This seagrass, there's just, there's dead fish all in the seagrass. It's just really, really bad in areas two and three. I don't know why. You can see how it thins out right there. Has anybody been to Lover's Key? What's the beach look like at Lover's Key? Curious how the water is up there. This morning it is just absolutely terrible here at Del Norwegans. And to top it off, look at how the beach is crumbling away here, just washing away. See that? See these big cracks? Besides all this, all this seagrass here, the beach is, start, is eroding all along here in Area 3. I'm just full of good news this morning, huh? I'll just thank the Lord we haven't seen any dead dolphins or manatees or sea turtles washed up on the beach. That's heartbreaking to see that. I mean, it's a pain in the neck to walk up here now. It is really hard walking along the beach.
You can see if you look closely, you can see all the fish tangled up in the seagrass. See them all down there, all the dead fish? Horrible. I love Naples and this really hurts me to see our beaches like this in this condition. It makes you feel so helpless. There's nothing you can do about it. I mean, the only thing you could do is you know, pick up the dead fish on the beach, rake up the seagrass, but that's not gonna change anything. That's not gonna change what's happening out in the water. So sad. The water is just disgusting this morning. That's all seagrass, that black out there, that's seagrass on the bottom. And then there's that blasted barge back again. I thought that was gone. I thought we were done with that nonsense. There are so many dead fish out here now. Boy, yesterday morning I was very optimistic. It felt like the wind had changed and things were maybe gonna turn around here, but no, not happening. I feel so sorry for our fishermen and people whose businesses depend on the beach. You know, there's a lot of people's lives affected by this. It's not just the animals. The poor marine life. Oh. There's a dead eel. That's the first eel I've seen this red tide. There's a dead eel. A dead eel out in the water. Upside down. So sad. How sad to see that. Snook, dead snook. Nothing is being spared from this red tide. I've seen so many species of fish dead here on the beach now. It started out with just catfish, now we're seeing everything. 
trout, snapper, snook. We're seeing all kinds of dead fish now. So. Absolutely horrible. Horrible, horrible, horrible. And way far more, far more dead fish on the beach today than yesterday. Far more. I just kind of haven't even thought about looking for any shells. It's been so, so disconcerting just seeing the beach in this condition this morning. And the water was just terrible looking. And this is going to improve. Trust me, it will get better. But seeing it like this is just tears me up. Little dead fish floating around there. Seeing the little pinfish, the little bait fish. Looking down to the south, that's where all that seaweed's washed up, the seagrass all along the beach. You can see some of the seagrass out on the sandbars. When I first started earlier this morning, we saw quite a few little crabs on the beach and it was sad knowing they were just probably taking their last gasps of air. They'll probably all be dead, but when we go back, I don't know if there's anything out on this little sandbar worth looking at, showing you. see a beautiful live whelk shell a beautiful live whelk and it's probably gonna die there's a live pear whelk a live big beautiful pear whelk shell and that's probably gonna be dead soon that's so sad there's an eel over here, which I'm not going to pick up. That's dying. Oh, look at that beautiful pear whelk. I feel guilty putting anything in the water, knowing it's just a death sentence. What a beautiful shell. A beautiful shell, a beautiful animal. This poor eel. I'm gonna put this pear whelk down by the edge of the water. Hopefully it'll survive. What a beautiful shell. A live pear whelk. Slowly going back into its shell. Let's see if I can find a stick or something to pick up that eel. Not sure what kind of eel it is, so I don't want to pick it up with my bare hands. And of course, there's nothing out here on a sandbar to use to pick it up. Come back over here onto the beach.
you know, sad, a dead horseshoe crab, but you know what? I can't break that off. I was gonna use this dead crab's, that's so sad. I was gonna use his dead tail to pick up that eel. What do we have on the beach here? Besides dead fish, all I need is a stick, and of course there's no sticks on our beach. A mangrove. A mangrove pod. That's look at that, and it's got a little root. This is the pod, seed pod from a mangrove tree. It's got a little root. That's how they propagate. They just drop their pods, they get picked up in the current, wash up on a beach, and start to kick out roots. That's pretty cool. I wanna get that little eel back in the water. He's not moving around very much right now. Come on. He's not gonna make it easy. Come on. You're going the wrong way. So slimy. There, that was it. I hate tossing them like that, but what other option do I have? I'm sorry, folks. I'm doing my best. I'll get out and go into the water. Come on. Sorry, probably shocking him here. You're going the wrong way, go that way. There he goes. There he goes. Come on, go the other way, go out into the water. Go out into the water. Swim away. I'm trying to help you. He just keeps washing up on the beach here. Come on. All right, get on the bottom there. There he goes, now he's turned over. Ah, it's really fighting the waves, the currents. Come on, swim away. Let's see him get out of these waves. There he goes. There we go. He'll be all right now that he's in deeper water. Not the prettiest water there either. Ugh. Well, hopefully that little eel will survive. Kills me to see that stuff. Kills me to see it. <clears throat> Here's that beautiful, beautiful pear whelk again. Probably not going to survive because of the red tide. I'll give you a good look at that shell now. Beautiful. A beautiful pear whelk. Remember, the pear whelks and the lightning whelks look very similar, but the pear whelk has the, uh, the opening on the opposite side. If this were a lightning whelk, the opening would be over where my thumb is. So this is a live pear whelk. I'm going to, you can see it coming out here. I'm going to put it back in the water. Hopefully it won't wash up on the beach. The water, see how dirty the water is here? It's horrible. Absolutely horrible looking. I'm gonna put this pear whelk out here. 
Give you one more look at it before I put it in the water. Hopefully, it will bury itself in the sand. I'll help it out a little bit. I kind of put its point, buried its little point in the sand to keep it from washing up on the beach. Hopefully it'll survive. But I'm just out on the sandbar just off of Area 4 Beach. I'm going to head back up onto the beach. It's not been a very pleasant beach walk this morning. Not very pleasant at all. We've seen a lot of dead fish on the beach. All kinds of fish. Horseshoe crabs. There's a dead, dead, dead horseshoe crab over here. So sad. So sad seeing all these dead animals. All this dead marine life killed from the red tide. Park Rangers making their morning beach rounds. There's our friend Mark. Great guy. Mark is really good at finding the sea turtle nests. Boy, when he finds what looks like potentially a successful crawl on the beach, he'll dig down and he'll find those eggs pretty quick. He's really good at that. He's been doing it for, oh, I think, over 25 years here. I haven't seen any new nests more more dead fish look at all these poor dead fish there's piles of them all different kinds so sad there is a lot of them here Other than that pear whelk, that's the only neat shell I've seen. Ugh, there's another dead horseshoe crab. Ugh, what a shame. What a shame. Oh, another snook. We don't like seeing those on the beach. We don't like seeing anything dead on the beach. Ugh. For those of you just tuning in, it's this is Del Norwegian's Pass State Park up in North Naples, Florida. We're just one of this is just one of the many beaches right now in Southwest Florida that's feeling the effects of red tide. If you don't know what red tide is, just Google it. You'll get all kinds of information. Google red tide. If somebody wants to explain in the comment section or drop some links in the comments for people to click on, that'd be great. We got two terrible things happening in Southwest Florida. We've got green algae and red algae. The red algae we call the red tide. That's kind of a natural occurrence, but it's terrible. And then we have the green algae, and that's the toxic green algae. And unfortunately, that is totally the fault of man. And that is really wreaking havoc on some of the areas to the north of us, up towards Fort Myers and Cape Coral. I mean, 
mean, that is just terrible. I mean, it's toxic not only to marine life, but to humans as well. I thought I found a tulip shell for a second. Very, very, well, you know what? Very close. Almost found a tulip shell. Look at that. Finally, you can see the colors of a tulip shell. That's pretty darn close to a whole tulip shell. These are absolutely gorgeous shells, the tulip shells. But not quite a whole shell. See, it's chipped up there. Darn it. I only have one of these that my friend Scott gave me. A little worm tip. A little worm tip down here. I wonder if there's anything else on this sandbar. Oh, so sad. God, all the fish, dead fish on the bottom, not even floating, dead fish on the bottom. That is so sad. There's our, some of our seabirds there, some gulls and some royal terns. get too close to them and startle them. There's something out there on the sandbar that I kind of want to take a look at, but I don't want to startle the birds. So I guess we're not going to get to see it. I'm going to go really slow. This is a flounder. Sadly, it's a dead flounder, but a lot of people have never seen a flounder. I believe it's a flounder. Yeah. That's a flounder fish there. We have a lot of flounder here offshore. Sadly, that's a deceased one because of the red tide. That's what a flounder looks like. I'm going to take a quick photo of it, so bear with me. Don't go anywhere. So, so sad seeing these. There's a few terns and a few gulls sitting out there. Get you a closer look at the turns there. They're beautiful, the royal turns. Those are all royal turns. A couple gulls in the background. That was a turn that just landed, a royal turn that just flew in. It's nice to see some life out here.
That's a big storm down there to the south, those clouds. I'm gonna come over here to the outer edge of the sandbar. See if there's any, I don't see anything out here. I don't see any shells. I don't see any sea stars. Somebody asked if sea stars and starfish are the same and well, the answer is yes. There's really no such thing as a starfish. People call them starfish, but they're not fish. They're technically they're sea stars. all rocks here in the middle of the sandbar rocks fossilized things in the rocks there's some really neat fossils to be found out here if you're into collecting fossils you can just pick up these rocks and look close and you never know what you're gonna find look at that inside of them some really cool fossils out here at the beach People find shark's teeth all the time out here. Me, I never find any. <laughs> I don't know why. I just never find any shark's teeth. Other people find them all the time. I'm looking for them right now. You can see there's so many Shark's teeth are usually kind of a black or a brown color, dark, dark color. You've got so many little black stones on the beach, little black pebbles and things, and they're, they really blend in the shark's teeth. So you really gotta know what you're looking for. I mean, I know what they look like, but I just never find any. You know, this is a great place to find them too, on the edges of these sandbars where everything gets trapped. It's a great place to look for shark's teeth. There's that view that I like. Area 4 Beach, I love it pine trees and the blue sky. Well, didn't see any sea turtle crawls this morning. I mean, it's kind of a good thing and a bad thing. Roy's over there showboating it on the beach again. He sees me out here with the camera, so he's singing up the storm. And him and Jennifer, Jennifer Ann's out there dancing while he's singing. <laughs> Today's Jennifer's birthday. So they're having a party here at the beach up in Area 4 for Jennifer Ann. If anybody wants to come out. We've invited all of our Facebook friends to attend the party starting at noon up in Area 4. I haven't really seen anything cool out here on the sandbar. The birds were neat. Birds are really fun to look at, but not a lot of seashells out here. 
Maybe up here on the beach, amongst the dead fish. Ugh. There's part of a shark eye, a moon shell. Well, that would have been a pretty one, huh? It's part of a moon shell right there, part of a shark eye shell. Actually, it might be a nautica, a gaudy nautica. What else do we have down here? Little olive shell. All these dead fish, dead fish, dead crabs, dead horseshoe crabs, everywhere. And there's a little dead crab down there on its back. Oh, we're just really praying that this red tide will freaking leave us. Leave us alone. It's ruining our beach. Our beaches, not just this beach. Everywhere. Dead fish everywhere. The water down at the south end was terrible looking this morning, absolutely disgusting. More dead, look at this. Dead eel, a dead flounder. I don't know what that little fish is in the middle. take a picture of that sadly bear with me it is so sad to see that all that dead marine life just dead on the bottom here in this gross looking water this is all all dead fish here on the beach. I would not want, to, I wouldn't advise anybody come out to the beach. Find something else to do today. Disgusting. Find somewhere else to go. The water is terrible looking. The only thing that's nice is the weather right now and it's gonna rain, so they say, later this afternoon. Big storms down there to the south, the south, the southwest. What's up, guys? Hey, Rob, how you doing? Good. How's the birthday girl doing? Yeah, Super. Good. Super? All right. Yeah, you're coming to the big birthday party. Well, we'll too. see. What's your alternative if it's raining by chance? Huh? Do you have an alternate plan if it happens to rain? Oh, it's not going to rain. It won't rain on our party. There you go. You tell it. I'll be back in a little bit. Hey. There you go. Oh.
Jennifer Ann and Roy are a new couple. Jennifer's birthday today. Oh. Is that a jack? Hmm. Uh huh. This is the north end of the park, crossing into Area 5 Beach. Five beaches here at Del Norwegans Pass State Park. Five being the most northern, furthest from the front entrance. And we're just getting hammered by red tide. There's a dead snook just floating in the water. I've seen quite a few dead snook. Nothing has been spared. I have seen every type of fish we have offshore here. I've seen a dead on the beach now. Terrible. Heartbreaking is what it is. It's heartbreaking. Another snook. I mean, you look at this and you wonder why things like this happen. You know, this is just nature taking her toll. As hard as it is to look at and experience, I mean, you have to always remember it will get better. This has been happening forever. I don't know how long red tides have been occurring. Forever. I've seen quite a few of them. I've seen them way worse than this. I've lived here in Florida 57 years. Coming up on 58 years. <laughs> and I have seen the beaches way worse than this. And we always recover. Think positive. You know, every beach has its problems. <laughs> Some have way more serious problems than red tide. Don't be afraid to Google red tide. Instead of just asking, what is red tide here in the comments? I'd, it's great if somebody wants to share some links in the comments. I always appreciate that for folks to click on, but do some Googling. Read about the red tide in Southwest Florida. Then read about the green algae in Southwest Florida, the toxic green algae. Far worse than red tide. And that's, we got to do something about that green algae. All of our politicians need to open their eyes and get on board that train and let's put an end to that green algae figure out some way to build a filtration system or something I really don't think there's anything we can do about red tide I don't think you want to go start dumping chemicals in the ocean to kill red tide to kill the red algae, that red algae bloom. And that red algae, it's always out there. You know, it's out there lurking in the Gulf somewhere, some, you know, at any given point, it's out there. But it's just when we have some really strong onshore breezes or a tropical storm or something, and it pushes it up on shore. And that's when we see all these dead fish on our beach and there's times where you can't even come out on the beach, you can't breathe. 
you can't see your eyes water up it burns it is so strong and pungent the smell from that red algae bloom I'm not coughing here this morning that's a good sign it does not smell too good between the dead fish with the color of the water. The whole entire beach was that color this morning. I don't know if that's the tide. I don't know if that's, see, this is the color of the water when it comes out of Del Norwegian's Pass. Now, I am no marine biologist, so I'm not gonna tell you that's red tide causing that color or what, but from my observations over the years coming to this beach, the water, as the tide is going out at Wiggins Pass, which is just up to the north of us, is that color. And that's a lot of, due to the, there's tannins, they call it tannins in the mangroves. It's like an, I don't know what you'd call it, like an acid in the mangroves. And it discolors the water, it turns it brown. That's why when you see brackish water, if you're in your boat in the backwaters, it's that brownish color from the mangroves. And that's what's coming out of Wiggins Pass. So now, if the currents are just right, what happens is the tide will go out, of Wiggins Pass up there, and it goes out into the Gulf, and then it like circles back and comes back on the beach if the currents are just right. And that's what it looks like to me. That's what this looks like. And it's all the way down the beach. It goes all the way down to area one this morning. I personally don't think that's the red tide. I think the red tide is more of a red color, but I can't swear to it, not being a marine biologist. That's my theory. Oh, they've seen a lot of dead snook. I got no, I have no idea what kind of fish that is right there. Oh, it's, looks like a half a catfish. Ugh, gross. I believe this is a dead trout. Isn't this a trout, you fishermen? Isn't that a speckled trout? We've seen a lot of them on the beach as well. For a lot of you just tuning in, it's probably not what you're expecting for a morning beach walk in North Naples, Florida. 95% of my beach walks are beautiful. We see our find beautiful shells, see all kinds of neat marine life. But this past week has not been so pleasant with the red tide. And I'm not here for tourism. I'm just here to share my beach experiences with you. So I bring you the good and the bad. I'm not gonna sugarcoat the images here. This is just all part of mother nature and the circle of life. If you're thinking about moving to Southwest Florida, you can count on having to cope with red tide once in a while. It's just a given thing. It happens. Just like we have hurricanes, just like you have tornadoes out in the Midwest. It happens.
We started all the way down at the south end of the beach this morning again. Hoping to maybe see see something better than what we did see, than what we're seeing now. Didn't see any new signs of any new turtle nests on the beach. I believe we're still holding at 58 nests. We have sadly lost a lot of sea turtles, nesting sea turtles because of the red tide. They've come up with either coming to the beach to nest or leaving. They have to succumb to the red tide. We did see one on the beach here last week. That was a sad, sad sight. Somebody speeding through Wiggins Pass now. Speeding through the no-wig zone. Boy, there's a good size snook up here on the beach. Marcus. Something's been eating away at that dead fish. Oh, well, this is the north end of the park. When we don't have red tide, this is absolutely beautiful up here. You always find a lot of fishermen up here at the end of the beach at the pass. This is so sad, so sad seeing all of these snook washing up on the beach. It is terrible. These are one of our very popular game fish here, the snook. And I have just seen them all over the beach this morning. What a horrible sight, horrible sight. haven't really been doing any shelling. I haven't been shelling this morning. Just walking around here in awe. Very sad. There's an old cockle shell though. Big old cockle. Fairly common here. Look at this one's got barnacles all over it. dead fish everywhere and what's they're not just floating on top of the water they're down on the bottom I don't know if you can see that one down there it's dead fish everywhere No fishermen out here this morning. That's not a surprise. Who would want to come out and fish during red tide? Ugh. The 
couple fighting conch shells down here. There's two Florida fighting conch shells. Very popular shells here at the beach, very common, the Florida fighting conchs. Here's another neat little shell, a turkey wing shell. A little turkey wing. Oh, another snook. Terrible seeing these. Darn it. Why, oh why. There's a nice fighting conch shell. Still got a nice point on the tip. Quite a few conchs up here. Quite a few conch shells. None of them. None of them have any conchs in them, sadly. There's two more fighting conchs. Florida fighting conchs. A really old, worn out piece of a conch shell there. Take it. This red tide is just relentless. That is a big fish right there. That is a big fish. Unfortunately, a dead one. That is at least 24 inches right there, if not longer. Oh, how sad. That's at least 24 inches. What a sad sight. Oh. Horrible. Look at that. It's horrible. This is Wiggins Pass here, where we're at, up in North Naples, in case you're just joining.
people coming to see the dead fish. Come and check out the dead fish. You can see how big that one is over there. Terrible. Terrible, terrible. They're just floating out in the water out here. If you look closely, you can see the dead fish floating out there. And here every once in a while, while I'll see a nice little seashell. It's a nice little olive shell. I saw a live, a live pear whelk this morning on the sandbar. That was pretty cool. I saw a live eel. Tried to rescue that, put it back in the water. And that's an olive shell. An olive shell, and over here is one of our more popular shells, a cockle shell. It's an olive shell on the left, the cockle shell on the right. really wasn't big into shelling this morning. Boy, it is really getting dark down to the south. That's a big storm down to the south of us, huge storm. Absolutely huge. I don't know if Roy has some, an alternate plan if it's raining here at the beach where they're all going to go for Jennifer's party. He said it's not going to rain, so I hope he's right. Stop and say hi to Roy and Jennifer quick on the way back down the beach. A little bit of a breeze starting to kick in. We need a huge breeze to kick in. We need a, a big wind to start blowing offshore, to start blowing this red tide away from us. Get rid of it. Take it back out into the Gulf where it came from. We've had enough of the red tide here in Southwest Florida, please. This bout of red tide has not spared any species of fish. This morning I've seen almost every species of fish that we have here in Southwest Florida washed up on the beach. Horrible. Any of my friends that might happen to be watching 
right now. Today, not only is it Jennifer Ann's birthday, but it's my friend Christopher Grenier's birthday. Chris passed away a little over a week ago. And today was gonna be his 49th birthday. That's sad. So sad to lose a friend at such a young age. So, such a horrible thing for a parent to have to deal with. His dad is really having a hard time. Chris's dad lost his wife, Chris's mom, not, no, just about two years ago, and now his father has to lose his son. That was so sad. Did you see all these shells on the tree? As people come out here, they hang a shell in memory of someone that's passed away, a loved one that's passed away. I've already hung a shell here for Chris. Miss you, buddy, and happy birthday. I know Chris is happy. Yeah, <laughs> he's with his mom. Stepping on dead fish. Everywhere you walk. Ugh. This ugly water. Big, look at that though. That sky is black down there. That's not blue sky, that's black down there. That's a big rainstorm down towards Marco, down to the south of us. I don't know if it's heading this way or not. It was like that yesterday morning. There's a little baby angelfish on the beach, so sad. A little baby angelfish. As I said earlier, several times, this bout of red tide has not spared any species of fish. I have seen just about every kind of fish in Southwest Florida. I'm dead on the beach here. Very disturbing. still washing in up on the fish are still washing up on the beach the tide is still going out so as soon as that tide turns I'm sure we're gonna start seeing more fish washing up on the beach praying we don't see any dolphins here or sea turtles on our beach or manatees there you can see some, that's a fish floating out there there's several of them they're kind of hard to see and that's a, there's a couple little ones out there. I guess the, the birds, you'll see birds pecking at them. The birds must know what to eat and what not to eat. I mean, it's the insides of the fish that you know, the guts, the intestines and everything that's got the poison, the red tide, the toxins. But they say if the fish are safe to eat, if you wash them, I wouldn't do that. But, but you do see birds eating them and you don't see any dead birds out here. So that must be true.
we're at low tide here. And right where I'm at, there's not a whole lot of beach. We lost that a couple months ago. At high tide, you can barely make it here. You usually have to walk up on the path up behind the trees. This is the north end of the park. You can see how much beach is washed away. And that's probably a good five feet there. There's still a few people coming out here looking for shells. Just wanting to see what red tide looks like. Well, no new, sea, no new sea turtle nests on the beach today. Still holding at 58 here at Del Norwegans. 58 loggerhead sea turtle nests. Stop over here and say hey to Roy and Jennifer. Jennifer's birthday today. coming around the mountain. Yes, she will. And not only that, at noon time it's... <laughs> well, something like what that. What the anyway. heck was that? <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Yeah. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Jenny. Happy birthday to you. Well, there you go. Happy birthday, Jennifer. You're going <laughs> to join you. us about high noon up by the pine tree. Up by the pine tree at high noon. We'll see. Right around in there, a little before, a little after. Yep. We'll keep on going. The north end of Area 4, everybody. Parking lot 4. And we got music coming. We're going to dance it up, dance and sing. And... Music? You got music coming? Oh, yeah. Tom Blingen music and... 
Really? We're bringing a grass, gas grill and oh, we got a lot of chow yesterday. We're gonna really have a wow. banquet. Gonna whoop it up, huh? Whoop well, okay, uh -huh. it up, yeah. Awesome. We got a nice birthday cake and the whole nine yards. Wow, lucky you, Jennifer. <laughs> All about you. I, I won. I heard, I saw that. You got two ribbons, that's wonderful. And that's first something? Place. Two first place, that is. Yeah, we were down there watching her, oh, cheering her on. What were they for, what, what did you do? The 100 I am. The 100. And then 100 freestyle. Freestyle? Mm -hmm. Wow. Congratulations. Yeah, Thank two you. first place, place ribbons. First place. That Woo! is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> and it's been your birthday all week, it looks like. Yeah. <laughs> Every time I look on Facebook, you're celebrating somewhere. You were at SeaWorld. Boy, that looked like a, you had a blast up there. SeaWorld, Ripley's. And then the water park. Oh, wow. Up there. Ripley's. I like Ripley's. There's some <laughs> fun things to see in there. Yeah. Interesting things. Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, uh. well, we had quite a time because her, her uh, uh, medley there, the whatever, the, and the last lap, she was way ahead of the other gal. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah way ahead. Smoking. Yeah, good, good <laughs> six, eight feet ahead. So, oh, wow. So good down deal. the home stretch was a crawl stroke. Uh -huh. And this other gal started really pouring it on, and Jenny, I think she had it made, so she wasn't really going full tilt, you know. Right. Well, I went and ran along the side of the pool, and I went in the unauthorized area where, uh -oh. uh, <laughs> and I ran right along by. I hollered, "Jenny, Jenny, she's catching up on you. She's catch." I hollered real loud, and she could hear me. Uh, oh, and you she could hear him pouring it on. You heard him? I, yeah. yeah, she actually heard me yelling, hollering at her, because I was running right along the pool and. Oh, all the officials were yelling and screaming in the whole uh, yard. And, <laughs> that's you. <laughs> and anyway, uh, she heard me, and so she started really pouring it on. So then the other gal didn't gain on her anymore. I thought it was going to be a photo finish, but then she was about six, eight feet ahead and won uh, pretty good. A photo finish. <laughs> so I, I had to really get her stimulated. She well, heard me go. hollering. You inspired yeah, her to win. She poured it on for yeah. the home stretch. Yeah. yeah. Well, that is awesome news, Jennifer. Yeah, it was That's a lot great. Of fun. It was Thank a good you. time. That is great. Yeah, first place. It was really good. Well, it's a good thing you were there, Roy, to encourage her. <laughs> well, I was her coach. I was hollering at her. Oh, you were hollering at her oh, like a coach. There yeah. you go. <laughs> I saw, I guess, Tom and Karen were down there, huh? Yeah, they yeah. were. And that other, was nice. A lot of other friends. Oh, well, that was good. Friends, yeah. I'm, glad it's some, I'm glad they showed up yeah, there. We had love Cheer it. you on, Jennifer. Yeah. yeah, but you missed it. I did. How come there weren't any videos? I don't know. Nobody took any video down there. I thought we were going to see some video. Then we went to uh, Sweet Potato afterwards and all Sweet had Potato? Lunch, <laughs> all had lunch together, so Did that you? was fun too, yeah. That's your favorite place, huh? That <laughs> was good. You go there a lot, Sweet Tomato. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so that's great. Everything's great. Good. You coming swimming with us today, Rob? Today's I, the day? Nope. You couldn't pay me to go in that water today. It is horrible well, looking. All the, all the fish are on the beach. Or They're all the on ocean. the bottom. The <laughs> bottom of the the bottom is just covered with dead fish this morning. Really well, I don't. I swim. I don't touch the bottom. Yeah, well, don't be stepping on any of those catfish. Be careful. Hey, they hauled the big dredge out of here this yeah. morning. Did you see them go? But look, the barge is back down here. The barge is yeah. back, but they hauled the dredge way down. Oh, it's so, it's out of sight now, huh? Yeah. So hopefully they're going to come back and haul out the. I pipe. hope they do. But they still got the darn pipe up there. Yeah, I know they got underwater. Pipe. So if I don't the know. dredge is gone, they're sure gonna haul the pipe down because the dredge isn't any good without the pipe. Yeah. So I think they'll come back and get. They brought this barge back out. Oh, the other day they hauled it off the beach. I couldn't believe it. Did you it, see them do it? Yeah, and it was just that little tugboat. They got a cable to it and zip, it slid right. So off. I wonder why it took them so long to do it. Well, they have to have lunch and talk it over, you know. It took them, what, three, four days to do it? Talk it over, yeah. Well, they, they had to plan it. A calm day. There was, there was a little breeze. The waves, there were two, three inch high waves, and that's too, no, too much. So yeah. they're waiting for a calm day. So, again, what time's the party? Tell everybody, noon time? Oh, around noonish, yeah. We'll around noonish. Early and we'll keep on going for quite a while. You're going to have some singing and dancing and whooping it up. That's for and sure. And good food. Lots of good Lot food. Of really good chow. And Jennifer's 29 again. How about again. that? And holding. There you go. She <laughs> keeps turning 29 now. Yeah, from here on out. 29, 29, 29. <laughs> <laughs>
Last year, 29. This year, 29. Uh, Next year, uh, uh, uh. 29. <laughs> Why not stay young? There you go. Stay young. It's all in your mind. Uh, it's in your heart and it's in your mind. There's where your age is. Hey, we're going for a big channel swim out over the well, horizon. Well, be careful. Over the horizon, you're going to go over the edge? Yeah, yeah. Well, almost. Jenny always grabs me just when I'm about to go over the edge. Oh, thank you, Jennifer. <laughs> mm -hmm. We don't want him falling off the edge out no. there. Not, not in one of those black holes. <laughs> those, are, those are kind of big and, big and dark. All right, guys. Well, just be careful. Like I said, Roy, there's a lot of fish on the bottom. You know what I heard about What'd the black hear? holes? I can't believe it, What'd but that's what it said in the astronomy magazine. The black holes, they don't know what's in there, but the magnetism is so powerful. If our earth fell into a black hole, it would get squeezed down to the side of a golf ball. Hmm. Now that's a lot of yeah. magnetism. Those black holes are really something, aren't that's they? That's something to think about. Yeah, so we don't want to go, we into, don't want to go into a black, black hole. Holes. If, if the earth were the size of a golf, golf ball, ball what how would you... big would you be? <laughs> <laughs> Infinitesimal <laughs> dot. <laughs> wow. It's hard to believe, but that's what it said in the That's time. amazing. That's a lot of magnetism. That is a lot of magnetism. Yeah. That's more than animal magnetism. So there, yeah. <laughs> so there's something in those black holes that nobody quite has got the answer to. Yeah, they to are it. interesting. But nobody wants to go in to investigate. I'm not, I'm not going to volunteer. <laughs> you gonna volunteer, Jennifer? No. No. Okay. <laughs> but boy, that harvest moon! The, oh, the other the other morning I was yeah, here. Yeah, you saw that harvest moon glow was and... setting and the sun was rising. What a scene! Yep. And all the crazy people were out the night before <laughs> with the full moon. Yeah, wasn't that something? All right, Roy. Well, you guys have fun. Enjoy your swim. Be careful. Don't let them step on fish. All There's right. dead fish all out there under the water. And those catfish, you stepped on one once before. That was no good. Nope, be careful. They got that poison. And yesterday they picked up all the fish, but I don't see them now. No, oh, the beach is loaded with them now. I know, they buried them all yesterday, the day before. Yeah, Every it's... day they've been, hey, there comes a little breeze. That'll yep. Blow, blow Hopefully that'll blow it all away. All right, guys, maybe I'll see you later. Hey, good to see you. Happy see birthday, Jennifer. Bacon. Thank you. Everybody come to Jennifer's party. She needs $18,000 to pay off her car. Yeah. <laughs> I think Roy, Roy said that was going to... Oh, I let the cat out of the bag. He was going to give you that 18000 to pay off your car. You are. No, you got the wrong zero. <laughs> he said he was all his book sales so far. <laughs> no, what I did, I, I coughed up for a birthday cake. Oh. It wasn't quite 18. Reduce a few zeros and you got to okay. take off about a half a dozen zeros or more. All right. And that's a, that's a birthday cake. That's still a nice gift. Well, All right. thank you. Have fun, guys. See you later, Jenny. All right. Happy birthday. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Oh. Back to the beach. So the party's open to everybody at noontime. Keeping our fingers crossed this weather holds out. The party's up in area four. The north end of parking lot four, you won't miss them. But we are still, still battling the effects of red tide here in North Naples at Del Norwegian's Pass State Park. Sad, sad, sad. As you heard me tell him, Roy, be careful. There's a lot of dead fish out here and they're not floating in the water. Like you usually see, there's a lot of dead fish on the bottom. You can see them right down there. It's actually a dead flounder over there on the left. A dead eel over there. Horrible, horrible sights. Not the best conditions to come out and enjoy the beach, that's for sure. The water is even a really, really disgusting color today. There are people out here at the beach on 
unbelievable. I would not be going swimming though, that's for darn sure. This is incredible. Okay, this is a live pear whelk. I saw one of the, I saw one of these earlier this morning. This is not the same one. This is a live pear whelk. And it is not the same one we saw earlier this morning. That is incredible. We saw that way further south down the beach on a different sandbar. But here is a live pear whelk. It's nice to see something alive here. We saw another live pear whelk and an eel on the beach. I tried to rescue the eel. I'm going to take this pear whelk and put it on the other side of the sandbar. And what I do when I find a shell like this is I'll go out into the water and I'll put the end in the, in the sand, the point, just to kind of help it out so it doesn't wash up on the beach again. So that's a live pear whelk. Now these pear whelks, see how looking at it here, the opening is on the right. Now if we were looking at a lightning whelk, the opening would be on the left side. But this is a pear whelk, so the opening is on the right. And this is a live pear whelk. So obviously we are not taking it home as a souvenir. But that would sure be a beautiful shell, wouldn't it? A live pear whelk. I'm just going to come out here and kind of help it out a little bit. Just kind of help anchor it. Because they kind of bury themselves. And there it is. The pear whelk. Isn't that cool? You never know what you're going to find when you walk out onto these sandbars. out here on the tip of the sandbars all of our we've got a bunch of terns royal terns sitting out here we saw them earlier look at that black sky behind us though wow it's incredible and the temperature is actually starting to drop now it's starting to cool off we're starting to get a breeze Let's see if I can zoom in on the turns. Turns and gulls sitting out here. I don't know if you can hear them. Two species, two of our shorebirds, seabirds, the gulls and terns. We've also got ospreys and pelicans out here and those sandpipers. Every once in a while we see a bald eagle out here at Del Norwegans Pass State Park. Look at how dark that sky is down there. That's a big storm. That sky, it looks blue in the camera, but it is black. That is black as can be down there to the south. And there's that ugly barge. Ugh, so glad when that's gone. Now let's walk back over to the beach. A lot of dead fish out here. You can see a dead fish there in the foreground. I smell smoke. Somebody's got the grills going already this morning. The red tide hasn't chased everybody away. And I 
Walter and Roy sitting up there under the trees. <laughs> so sad seeing the dead fish on the beach though. Now they say you can go swimming. They say the red tide is not gonna hurt you, but they highly recommend you take a shower when you get out of the water. Personally, I would not go swimming. I have been waiting out there and I'm definitely gonna hit the shower before I leave the beach. There's another dead horseshoe crab on the beach. Like I said, this red tide has not spared any of the marine life. Everything. Sad, sad. We have seen all types of fish out here. Earlier this morning, crabs. It's kind of sad. We saw down in area one, we saw a bunch of crabs on the beach this morning. And I have a feeling that they were probably about to expire. They were running around, but this red tide has taken its toll on the shellfish, that's for sure. Yeah! Boy, I hope the parents wash off these little kids getting out of the water. Ugh. I would not be recommend my kids swim out there. Huh. Anybody's kids. Earlier, you saw I picked up a pear whelk on the sandbar. Well, I picked, I found another almost identical pear whelk on this sandbar to the south earlier this morning. Oh, uh, how sad.
I have a feeling that's the dead little sea snake or eel that I tried to save this morning. Didn't make it. What a shame. What a shame. Oh, how sad. This red tide is being just brutal. Showing no mercy. I don't know if that pear whelk is still out here. <coughs> yeah, you can smell the red tide out here. Phew. I don't see that pear whelk that I put back in the water. It might, hopefully it buried itself in the sand. Look at the color of that water. Disgusting. Sad and disgusting. Another eel over here. sad seeing all these dead things on the beach. This red tide has been relentless. So wishing it would go away. Ugh. I can't wait until the beach returns to normal and my beach walks get back to normal. Right. Look at the colors there in that water. It's absolutely terrible. Absolutely horrific looking. Uh oh. Thought I lost my gimbal there for a minute, but no. Ugly sky and ugly water here, huh? Wish it was beautiful. Look at these new sandbars that are popping up out here, though. If we didn't have this red tide, that'd be really fun to go out there and explore those sandbars out there. This is Area 3 Beach. Dead fish all over the place. Everywhere I look, dead fish this morning. On a normal day, I'd be out on that sandbar right there, checking things out. But not today.
But I am looking forward to getting out there one of these days when things improve, when the conditions improve. Probably find some neat, new and exciting things out there. But here in area three, area two and three is just covered with seagrass. Look how heavy it is here. It gets thicker as I go south. It's like walking through a land mine field with these fish everywhere. It's like an obstacle course. Really, really bad. Bad and sad. When are the conditions going to turn around? When's it going to improve? Well, it's all up to Mother Nature. Right now, she's not being very nice to us here in North Naples. Oh, there's a big angelfish, big dead angelfish. How sad. Sad to see those on the beach. Poor angelfish. Lots of other fish. Ugh. Ugh, ugh, ugh. Disgusting. Disgusting. Oh, you notice that barge is gone from over here, but it's been replaced with piles of dead seagrass. Dead fish and dead seagrass. We just, it doesn't seem like we can win lately. Thankfully, we still have our sea turtle nests. We've got 58 of successful crawls so far, but keeping our fingers crossed, we have lost a lot of sea turtles because of this red tide. They said hundreds of sea turtles have perished because of the red tide. I'm getting a low battery warning, which means I'm gonna have to sign off here. I want to thank everybody for watching. Definitely has not been the most beautiful beach walk this morning. But it is what it is. I'm not out here to promote tourism. I'm out here to show you Mother Nature at her best and sometimes at her worst. And lately, she, has been, she hasn't been at her worst, believe me. But she's been pretty bad. I have seen it much worse than it is now. So count our blessings. Let's hope it doesn't get any worse. Let's pray. Pray for a big, strong offshore wind to carry this red tide back out into the Gulf. And let's get our beaches back to where they belong and beautiful and clean. I love living in Naples. 
I hate seeing it like this, but I've seen it like this before, and it will get it will get better. It will improve. There's an osprey. We'll finish off with an osprey sitting up in the top of the tree. Where was the osprey? Right up there. Isn't that cool? All the dead stuff. There's a little life, a beautiful osprey sitting up in top of the pine tree. Beautiful birds, the ospreys. A lot of people mistake them for bald eagles. You always want to remember when you're here at the beach to look up in the trees. Everybody's always looking for the shells and the dolphins, but remember to look up. There's some beautiful birds up in these trees. The ospreys being one of them. I don't know if I can get any closer. What a great ending to our beach walk this morning. A little ray of hope, a little ray of sunshine up there in the tree. Well, thanks for watching everyone. Have a wonderful Sunday. Don't forget, everyone is welcome to attend Jennifer Ann's birthday party today up in Area 4 with Roy. And there's gonna be quite a few of our Facebook friends there. That starts at noon. Have a great day. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.